What's happening, y'all? Come on in. Come on in. We got some film today, some film tomorrow. Film again. Uh, we're back on regular schedule here. I want to talk about D-Law and the defense today. Um, just some things I noticed on defense as a whole. But people have been asking me, yo, Vach, what's going on with D-Law? Um, I think it's a it's a it's a couple things that's that's kind of going on. First, I think uh what's going on is is it's happening what's you know what we thought was going to happen or what we wanted to happen. You know, we thought that if we had two uh two nice uh pass rushers that you know one's going to get double team and the other would go off, okay? Well, if D Law right here if he still gets his fair share of double teams now he doesn't get double teamed every single play but he does get a lot of attention he does get a lot of you know running back attention the ball comes out quick and that and that does affect the game but i think if the product as a whole was a little better then we'll probably um be able to have a you know have a better a better result as a whole what i mean by that is i mean sure you know, D Law gets double teamed or whatever, or we may be like one second away from the sack. But man, like if our coverage was like a was like just a just an inch better, you know, if the coverage was an inch better, maybe we'll get there and get and get some of those sacks. But also on the on the um on the same token that if our pass rush was a little bit better, then you know maybe the the coverage ain't gotta you know try so hard or whatever. If you're if you're Malik Collins right here. And you actually win, and you actually get to this point. <laughs> Don't slow yourself down getting back inside. Just, just, just keep the pressure from the outside, you know. But uh, you know, we got D. Law getting doubled here, and we get the pass downfield. Uh, I got a lot more notes though. Let's keep watching. Here's another example here. Um, D. Law getting his fair share, um, fair share of attention. But some that I want to see though, some I want to see from Robert Quinn is we know that he can whoop ass to the outside right like that's clear and evident that uh that you know he can he can use that use that burst use that effort like he did this is a this is a, a a pretty nice effort sack right here cover sack actually um coverage was probably uh pretty good downfield let's take a look see from the wide view yeah coverage was uh it was a uh, pretty pretty tight downfield so so sure sam sam held the ball and we got robert quinn uh getting a little bit of action on the back end but that's what's supposed to happen that's what i mean by total product you know if d law is going to get a double team that means it's going to be one less option downfield to deal with you know um you know Le'Veon's probably a dump off guy but there probably would have been an easy pass to the tight end if he wasn't in there blocking so hey man you know you you know d law getting double teamed by the tight end may not show up in the box score um but you know it did help us at some point somewhere now even though quinn got the sack right here some i want to see from quinn is that when he's getting real up field quick fast and in a hurry defeating those outside hands i really like that but i want him to you know like develop a move where he gets back inside you know what i mean earlier than that like he kind of spend inside and got it here but he's way back behind sam sam got a clean pocket right here i want quinn to be able to set guys up kind of like d law does because you know d law is more of a more of a technician i want quinn to th 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 and maybe plant his foot there defeat this inside hand and cross face pretty hard um after he set up the outside move a handful of times uh what about malik and your interior guys covington yeah malik bouncing around in that covington kind of got blocked there all right moving on how about this play? This play is from the Cowboys offense, actually. And people seem to misunderstand what I, you know, what I say when I say it, but that's just the internet. That's just what's, you know what I'm saying, supposed to happen or whatever. But like when I like when I see these these losses and I say, man, execution lost this this game for you. That's not to say that the coaches were perfect. That ain't me saying that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I would ever say the the the, the coaches were um, you know, perfect or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 there's some play calling that I would see somewhere that I would think is different. But in my opinion, what the main culprit is, is that if we didn't make these five or so mistakes as players, then we'll probably be a little better. So this is one of the the few coaching, uh not even criticisms, but uh critiques that I would like to see different or whatever. I'm showing this to 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 uh, show this uh this uh a blitz from the Jets here. Take a look at this blitz that the uh, that the uh, Jets did, and we just ain't doing nothing like that. We just ain't doing nothing like this. You know, we're as a defense, we're more of a line up, whoop you, see what happens, play our responsibility kind of guy. Um, and if Chris is in charge of the play calling, then I would like to see. Um, 
you know, a little bit more creativity involved, right? We want to get on, get on, like, we want to get onto the offense about creativity, you know, like, oh, like if the players aren't, aren't perfect, can we do something on offense to, to kind of hide that mask and be better on offense scheme wise? I would like that on defense, right? If we ain't got, you know, like if our players aren't playing top tier level football or whatever, cool, let's dial up something interesting. You know what I mean? Like, let's, uh, let's make our two inside guys cross face. You know what I'm saying? Bail, bail out 48, get 90, get 90, uh, 93 upfield here. You know what I'm saying? Come B gap with, with your, with your front side linebacker just for four, just for 53 to loop his ass all the way outside the C gap. Like that's a nasty little, little dial up right there. You know what I mean? It's not the most complex, uh, blitz. No, I've, I've seen it get nastier than this, but if I could, critique coaching on defense i would like to see something where you know we could scheme our linebackers free by moving guys up front uh and we do 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 some of that but just bump it up one level also another reason d law didn't didn't have a lot of big numbers in the box score uh you know sack numbers or whatever because hey man like sam Darnold just wasn't standing there just allowing himself to get sacked you know he would either get rid of the ball quickly or he would incorporate some of his movement right here what you're gonna see from d law right here d law is gonna um he's gonna cross face real heavy leaving c gap open you're gonna see sean lee coming up uh coming up containing c gap or whatever but d law actually like this actually works you know what i mean he actually gets gets free but um you know sam 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 has some nice feet and i thank god the coverage was good downfield or whatever so um the 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 play didn't necessarily go uh go through or whatever but you do see d law working himself upfield giving that giving that feel giving the vibes that i'm going c gap and we see 73 start to open up a little bit see 73's hips start to open up a little bit and you know that because you could tell by how his, how his left toe was pointed right there take a look at that left toe how now it's pointed more so upfield but now that thing is turned towards one of the line judges on the sideline or something like that right d law set all that up um and once you get that, uh, get that uh, post foot turn, as we call it, post foot. Once you get the, once you get that, that post foot turn, those, uh, those hips going outside. D. Large is going to cross face and get back inside. Just to happen that. Um, Sam stepped his ass all the way out. And, and if you look at Le'Veon, Le'Veon was on D-Law duty as well. Actually, if you take a look at him. Um, but hey, man, once once D-Law crossed his face, if he'd have just cut this thing off a little bit tighter and not looped all the way around, then he probably would have had some numbers there. But that's ask him to be a superhero. I don't want to ask a, ask a human to be a you know superhero or nothing like that. But moving on. We're a little better this week in terms of run defense because our run fits were better this week. And, you know, if we can stay consistent with that, then we shouldn't have too, too many more problems moving forward with run defense. Um, there was some some buzz in the online cowboy community or whatnot uh, that, you know, players just weren't doing their job. And after I went back and watched the film, it were some some guys trying to do a little too much. But in terms of this play here, this play, everybody just did their job. And if you do your job, run fits will look like this every single damn time. Clap your hand. Go, go chat box. Uh, uh, hashtag do your job. Hashtag just do your job, man. Listen. So we got um we got Malik taking on this down block. Fine. We got uh, that's probably like Christian Covington or like Antoine Woods. Somebody taking up this uh this uh double down or whatever. But um sixty eight let Dorrance run free because they want to kick Dorrance with this uh it's a backside guard or whatever with this uh right guard. They want to kick Dorrance. Dorrance gets real tight. Dorrance doesn't stay way back here. Like it's better to kick. It's better to get kicked here than back there because if you get kicked back here, then your linebackers will get blocked. Then you know, but uh, but as a as a as a D line, what we want is 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 clutter. We don't want clarity, right? So we want Doran Armstrong. If nobody's blocking you, squeeze that shit real tight right there. Hit this puller here, boom, cause a pile there. Make this blocker have to go around him. Ah, then next thing you know, you got a two on two, uh, blocker and runner versus tackler and damn tackler. You you know, and Jalen, Jalen's job ain't to make the tackle right here. And you see Jalen kind of just patiently just, ugh, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just patiently just, ah, you know what I mean? It's Jalen's job to take on this block. Just like it's Sean Lee's job to take on the point right here, to, to take on this block. Because if Sean Lee does something stupid, then this block, this guy's blocking Jalen. Then you got this guy blocking Van Der Esch, and then Le'Veon will be running free, right? Everybody got to take on their blocks. Everybody got to fit they gap. In theory, this is Jalen taking on his block, and Van Der Esch got to clean that shit up. That's fantastic. That's fa- And if anything nasty happened to Van Der Esch, you guys are just sitting there waiting to clean it. You know what I'm saying? Do that every time. Take back the last hashtag. Everybody, everybody get rid of the hashtag do your job. Hashtag do this every time. That's what I want. That's what I want to preach. You do this every time. We good. You, you do this every time. We good. You know what I'm saying? Jalen made this play. Sean made this play. God damn, who's that? Doris Armstrong. Doris Armstrong. Boom. Made this play. That's fantastic. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to affordablesticks.com. They sent me a fire stick. Plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's affordablesticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. I court. was all hyped, but now I got sad again because I just because <laughs> we just see AB get hold. Now, if they weren't calling picks all game, then I don't mind them calling. I don't mind them not calling this pick on AB. But if Cedric Wilson got called for his pick, I, I'm kind of mad that we didn't uh, give AB the call for this pick. This is this is uh, Anthony Brown right here, and. Um, they're gonna they're gonna set the pick up or whatever, but he's gonna run free base basically because this guy picks him free and just you know yeah, yeah come on man that's a that 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 that's flat out a pick it, like this dude didn't even run a route he just ran in a b and put his hands up and said oops and then act like I was running the curl the whole time you went or the spot or whatever you wasn't running this the whole time fam you you was picking what are you. you... <sighs> And picks are a part of football. Rub routes are a part of football, and I wouldn't be mad. I'm not mad that they that they that they didn't call it. But if they don't, if they if they not gonna call it here, don't call it on us. That's my only criticism. But whatever, AB got B right there. And I know it's easy when you when you and that's why I can't argue with people that just watch the game one time or they're just you know their their emotion after a loss, man. Because you would think that you know a, you know you would think that AB just got his ass beat right there. Well, you, 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 come on, <laughs> come on, man. Whatever, man. Moving on though. This is another situation where D Law has Sam Darnold, but Sam Darnold just, you know, used his movement to get out of trouble. Like so. Um, so hey man, you know, moving moving forward, you know, we're uh we're probably gonna be watching film on some of these mobile guys, some of these mobile um quarterbacks or whatever, and you know, just use this as a as a teaching point, you know, like, you know, just be a little be a little patient with these with these uh mobile guys. Like I know you wanna rush relentlessly and and to be fair, as a pass rush, that what you're that what you're you know that what you're um supposed to do but 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 sam can move a little bit you know carson wentz coming up next week can move a little bit daniel jones can move mitch can move uh just these guys that we're gonna see later when we see them we should be aware of their feet now when we go play kirk cousin when we go play tom brady matt stafford you know we can rush them a little different than we rush these guys that move or whatnot but uh, just take that note and you know live with it. Then there's this big Cheeto play that I'm not really gonna kill Cheeto for because to be fair, we don't give up a lot of big plays, man. To be fair, um, just as a defense, we don't give up a lot of big plays, man. But uh, you know, um, Robbie Anderson hit Cheeto with this little with this little double move, man. Not even double move, just a little head fake, a little head head body fake, and um, Cheeto just bit it, man. And you know. There was a lot of people that blame Jeff Heath for this. Well, if Jeff Heath is going to be the one high guy, Jeff Heath, like if this was cover two and Heath was on Cheeto's side or whatever, then you could probably say, okay, Jeff Heath, this is your fault, solely your fault, because then Cheeto expects some kind of help. Cheeto may not have help because, hell, Jeff Heath may may lean to this side of the uh, of the one high. Uh, you know, Jeff Heath may... Or is that like cover three or something? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, you know, Jeff Heath may be concerned with this guy. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of ways 
it's a lot of ways you can look at it, man. But Cheeto can't bite on that on that double move there. If Cheeto don't bite on that, I'm 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 sure Cheeto's able to run with Robbie a little better than what he did. And uh, like I said, man, Jeff ain't you know. Um, Jeff ain't free from, you know, criticism here. Like Jeff could have made this tackle. Jeff could have could have recovered and made this uh made this um this uh this uh tackle here, but he dived and he whiffed and he missed and it turned into a you know touchdown or whatever. So I I, I put this on Jeff and Cheeto, mostly on Cheeto. Jeff on the back end of it. Um both guys are at fault, but Hey man, it is what it is. I ain't want to show that play. I just know somebody was gonna ask me, Vice, why you ain't show that play. But that's all I got for you today, man. I I, I just want to touch on D Law defense, a couple other things, man, and um, just a handful of things that I saw. Uh, I hated watching this film, man, but I had to do it because I, you know, I try to be try to be uh, consistent, win, lose, or draw. But um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the offensive line next, and um, it's gonna be another film session after that. Just don't know what it's gonna be. All right, hold down for the Doski Woski, man. Peace, Wiski, V O C H L O N B A R D I on Twitter. Follow it and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I drop random ass videos in the middle of the week, just like this. All right, after canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.